Hey guys, so I'm back. This is video number three out of possibly four. My camera is looking like she's gonna wanna die here pretty soon. So we're gonna try to get through this video pretty fast. Um, I'm wearing the same outfit because I have recorded a couple videos today, it happens. So today's video is going to be my BoxyCharm unboxing, you guys. So let's just go ahead and get into it. For those of you who don't know what BoxyCharm is, it is a beauty subscription service that I am subscribed to. It is a $21 a month beauty subscription service. I believe in Canada you have to pay an extra $5 for shipping, but I'd have to I'd have to check into that. I do know you have to pay extra for Canada, but I'm not exactly sure how much. I, I believe it is around $5. You get around four to five full-size products. Sometimes you get six, and it's the box is normally worth over $100, which is amazing. So we're just gonna go ahead and get into this box. The theme for this month's box is sweater weather. Super, super cute and I love it. On the back of the card, it shows you all of the products that you have that you have gotten in your box and it gives you a little bit of a description and it tells you the price. So it's really, really nice. I used a couple of these products today and I can't wait to tell you about them. Uh, I really did like this box. It hasn't it wasn't my favorite box that I've ever gotten, but it was definitely a good one. So the first thing that is mentioned on the card is this Luxie Beauty Quad Eye Travel Set. It is also a collab with BoxyCharm, which I think is really interesting. Um, when I saw the sneak peek for this, I was actually really, really excited because I love Luxie brushes and I was expecting full-size brushes. So it was a really big shock to me when I saw this little um, box. This is the size of a normal Luxie brush compared to the ones that I got. I'm not mad about it though. I did use these on my eyes today and I do love them. Uh, this retails for $32 and I can't get the fourth brush out. There we go. So it comes with four little brushes that look like this. I actually have two of them in the full size. I have the Luxie um, 207T which is travel. Um, and I also have the Luxie 221T. Um, the first one is a fluffy angled brush and the second one is a flat definer brush. Um, I did use them today so they are a little bit dirty. You also come, it also comes with a Luxie 213T and a Luxie 227T. I don't know why I said the brand on all of them because they're all Luxie. So this one is more of like a tapered-ish blending brush, kind of. It, I don't know, it's really fluffy, it's really soft. I did not use that one, but I did use the 213, which looks kind of like a nice little smudger brush. And I really do like them, and I do plan on using them, honestly, de even despite the fact they're super short. I don't really mind that, so they are definitely going in my brush collection. The next product that is on the card is the Cover FX Illuminating Setting Spray. Looks like this. I love the packaging. It's got some nice, like, almost holographic-ish vibes to the box. Now, this retails for $31. Now, I'm going to tell you right now, just this brush set was $32. The box, the whole BoxyCharm box is $21. So this pays for your box straight out. And this is $31. So this pays for your box twice. Like almost three times come with the mixture of the brushes and the, uh, the setting spray. This is a box that is worth your money. So this is a huge bottle. This comes with 120 milliliters, which is four, which is exactly four fluid ounces. Um, it is an illuminating setting spray. It looks like this. Now, when I saw this pump, I was terrified because spritzers like this normally like make your face go freaking like you get drenched with one pump. This one, mm, it is a mist, an actual mist. It's not a spray. And I would compare it to my Morphe um, continuous setting mist and the fact that it is a very gentle spray. It doesn't smell the greatest, but it definitely has some luminosity to the spray. Um, definitely does what it says and I really like it so far and I plan on using more of it. This next product retails for $25 and this is the Winky Lux Kitten Palette and I actually think that it is a um, collab with BoxyCharm. I don't know if you can tell but BoxyCharm's logo is down there. I love 
the print of this palette. Cats are my favorite, so this definitely appeals to me. Uh, the color story on this too is gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous. You have, let me see, four mattes and the rest, um, the, the rest of the five are shimmers. This is a cruelty free palette, which I'm kind of excited about. Um, each pan has 13.5 grams, which is 0.45 ounces. Uh, I'm not sure how that is in correspondence with other eyeshadows, but just thought you guys should know. Very, very pretty color story. I'm going to go ahead and scoot over. And I did swatch them, and I will go ahead and put pictures of them up for you and kind of um, talk to you about them as we go. From left to right, we have the first shade, which is a very beautiful pink, almost a duochrome shimmer, and it is the shade Purr. The next one is Duchess, which is a really nice, um, soft beige color that can is really good for setting your concealer and that's what I did with my look today. The next one is more of a warm toned orangey almost an orangey yellow shade great for a transition shade and it is the shade called strut. The next one is more of like a purpley pink duochrome it's got it's definitely got that darker that deeper purple it's deeper than purr but it definitely has that pink shift to it. And that is the shade Holographic. The next one is a deeper gray blue, I guess. And this is the shade Nine Lives. The next one is a straight bronze gold, and it is the shade Cat Eye. The next one is a more of a maroon with almost a golden shift to it, and it is the shade Romeo. The next one is a matte, and it is a maroon. It's the shade called Cheshire. And the last one is a matte as well, and it's a deeper chocolate brown, and it is called Boots. These are definitely some gorgeous, gorgeous colors. I used, uh, I used Duchess to set my eyes today, then I used Strut to, um, lay down a transition shade then i use cheshire which is this matte right here to darken up my crease and my outer corner and then i use this on the very very outer outer corner i use boots to really darken up the look then on the actual lid i put holographic and it is such a beautiful beautiful shade and it made this whole eye look come together. I'm living for it. And then lastly, I went ahead and I put purr on my brow bone. I didn't do too heavy of a highlight on my brow bone because I didn't want to take away from the actual eye look because it does have some really neat duochrome looking shades in here. And for $25, this is such a good deal, you guys. And it's a really good palette. It's definitely great for beginners, I would say. The quality of the shadows in themselves are great. I absolutely love the quality of these shadows and I think that they are really good for beginners. And here's why. This palette doesn't have a lot of kickback, which is not something that is bad by any stretch of the means. I do like a palette that has a little bit of kickback because I love it when I pick up a lot of pigment at my first go. However, this is great for beginners in the sense where you're not picking up too much pigment and really kind of destroying your look it's not a it's not a palette that's hard to work with is what i'm trying to say it's really really easy to work with by the way i'm just going to interrupt myself right now i do look kind of strange um when my camera died i decided that i was gonna try to stretch my ears a little bit and so that's what i'm working on right now my tapers are not all the way in but um we're working on it and my ears are mad anyway continuing on also as well as that um I did mention that this is a cruelty free palette and each pan has 13.5 grams which is 0 0.05 ounces so definitely a really good pan size <sighs> i can't get over this print you guys i love cats so much boxy charm how did you know this is what i love Ugh. the second to last product that we got in our box or i got in my box this month is laqa and company cloud lips this is a airy matte lipstick that provides full coverage but feels as light as a cloud. It's supposed to give you long lasting, fluffy, pouty lips. Um, not really sure how that works, but this is what the little component looks like. It's really pretty. It retails for $17 and I'm not sure. Oh, it's right here. It's really hard to read. It's in the shade Sun Shower. It is a very vibrant red. Very, very vibrant red. 
Um, it is in the form of a stick, which is really interesting to me. Um, I think that sticks like these are really, really hard with precision. But it is definitely a really pretty vibrant red. So I definitely look forward to using it. I didn't use it on my eyes today. <laughs> I'm glad I didn't use it on my eyes. I didn't use it on my lips today because I felt like it was just way too much of a lip for the eye look that I'm going for. And, or the eye look that I went with today. So um, I just kind of left it off. But I will let you guys know how it performs for me. And see if I like it. I'll, you'll, you'll know that my comments will be below the video. All right, the last product that we have are KNC Beauty Collagen Lip Masks. And I've never tried a lip mask before, so this is really, really interesting to me. Um, these retail for $15. I don't know if it comes in a pack of three that's $15 or if these are $15 each. I would assume it's the pack of three that are $15. Um, it's an innovative jelly mask for your lips that hydrates and moisturizes and plumps your pout with natural ingredients. So that's interesting. It's pretty much says it's an all natural uh, collagen infused lip mask. It's by KNC Beauty, if I, I think I already mentioned that. I'm going crazy. So you're supposed to apply this to clean lips for 15 to 20 minutes and your this is to recommend, uh, recommended use is two to three times a week. Safe to use every day though. So I'm really interested to use this. Um, it says that it's all natural, no parabens, no sulfates, no artificial dyes or fragrances. And also, it is cruelty-free, no animal testing. Um, it conditions, moisturizes, plumps, and hydrates. So I'll let you guys know how this works. Um, I'm really looking forward to using it, and it's definitely something what I like about BoxyCharm is that they include sometimes products that you don't think of buying or you you know have never used and probably wouldn't go out and spend money on something that you've never really used before because it's a new product that you're not sure you'd like. So including this in the box is great because now I'll know if this is something that I'm interested in using from now on, um, <clears throat> or at least this kind of product. So very exciting that BoxyCharm included these three. Okay, you guys, so that is it for my entire box. This month's box was awesome. Definitely giving me some fall vibes, um, especially with that eyeshadow palette, and I'm kind of living for it. The total amount that this box is worth is a hundred and twenty dollars i mean that's almost a hundred dollars extra that you don't have to pay for your box because like i said this box is 21 dollars a month um definitely worth subscribing to this is my favorite beauty subscription of all time and this is one that i will probably never let go so very very excited about all these products and just because i'm feeling like it mm, 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 yes now this does not taste the best but oh it feels so cooling so hydrating it's perfect anyway i'm done talking about the products you know how in love with them i am leave me a comment letting me know how you felt about your box this month let me know if you got this box or a different box and also don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel i'm almost 200 subscribers so i'm really really thankful for all the support you guys have shown me recently i haven't even been on youtube for a full month and i gained like four or five subscribers so that is amazing so thank you guys so so much i really really appreciate it and i'm gonna record one or two more videos so i'll see you guys on the next one bye guys